Good morning! You hear that drippy sound? Because everything is melting. And look, I got the icicles off the side. And pavement. So it looks like a giant icicle. Oh, and something else funny? Uh, Polly, look at that. Polly accidentally wore my shoes to work today. <laughs> I went to go put them on to go see the girls and I'm like, where are my shoes? Oh, that's too funny. Let's go give them some greens. I can hear birds singing. It really is quite beautiful today. Not a cloud in the sky. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. I might have to come on here with my camera and take some pictures. Look at that. They are beautiful, when well, they're not hanging over your head. In case you didn't get a good look at our soup from last night, I'm having some for our leftovers for lunch. We'll probably have it for dinner too. Actually, I think I'm gonna, whatever's left Polly can have for dinner, I might just make myself a sandwich tonight. But what, nothing went to waste. The uh, juicy part of the roast where the vegetables cooked became the soup base and all the veggies I just added the corn so really really tasty and of course the moment I warm that up because I'm in the living room doing some editing yeah that is toilet paper for nose blowing <laughs> probably bought some toilet paper I did not like so I nixed it from being used as toilet paper so it's now tissue paper or paper for blowing your nose Anyway, it's gorgeous, sunny, bright, really, really bright. So if I get everything um, I need to do before my lunch break is over, I might uh, run out and do a couple of errands. We'll see. I'm being flexible. I washed some blankies today. Um, went to see the girls. There were no, no eggs yet. So I'm wondering whether they're... I mean, they have a heat lamp in there, and it's not really cold, and the water wasn't frozen. So I did bring one of the bottles in to refill, so next time I go out, I'll bring them some fresh water. But I'm going to go enjoy my lunch in the meantime, and I'll catch up with you guys uh, throughout the day. Okay, bombs away. Certainly fizzy. It's like a show. Science experiment. I can't really say that it smells like blueberries very much. Hmm. That was fun. <laughs> now I'm really curious to smell that. Yeah. Chemistry. Yeah, there's a little bit of a hint of blueberry, but it's not overwhelming, which is good, I guess, if you're, you know, um, have perfume allergies or anything. The water does feel a little, you know, smoother, <laughs> creamier, milkier. That was fun. Was that worth a dollar? Mm, I guess. <laughs> now I want bubbles. <laughs> so there you go. A minute and a half and it's done. Gone.
So I have no food to share with you tonight <laughs> because we had soup for leftovers. And then Pauline and I devoured a um, entire cantaloupe for dessert. And that's going out to the chickens in the morning. So they get treats. But I thought that since I picked up two of these stoneware microwave cookers and has a recipe book in there, I will let you guys decide which recipe I'm going to make on video so I can show you. I've already gotten several comments to show how this works. So this is what's included in there. It's a base with a handle. The handle has a hole so you can take it out of the microwave without um, transitional heat. It also has a lid with a vent. And it's glazed and it's supposed to be non-stick because it's glazed. So, um, let's see, now, warranty information. Let me show you the recipes and I'll tell you which ones I'm kind of partial to. I'll give you a hint, there's something waiting off of, in the wings. <laughs> so, um, it's a very small booklet. And again, I'll do this all on video because I want to make sure that I answer the questions, but I'll give you guys, that'll be the question for today, which recipe to make. So, poached egg, egg omelet, no big deal, self-explanatory. Baked apple crisp dessert. Now that sounds interesting, and I have apples. Um, the baked onion trick, sauteing onion slowly on a low flame, takes about 40 minutes. I guess you could do it in the um, in this cooker, and there's a French onion soup. Polly loves that. Uh, fresh tomato sauce, shrimp scampi, chocolate souffle. That looks interesting as well. I have all the ingredients for that as well. Maple sweet potatoes. I don't think. No, well, I just looked. I don't have any sweet potatoes on hand. Eggplant parm. I don't have any eggplant either because they were looking kind of chintzy. Healthy veggie chili with lots of vegetables. Loaded diced potato, broccoli garlic saute, green bean almondine, spicy sesame green beans, honey glazed carrots, zucchini and tomato saute, and last but not least, baked banana dessert. Looks like easy ingredients. Teaspoon of coconut flavored rum or regular rum. Half a teaspoon of butter, half a teaspoon of light brown sugar, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon sliced almonds. That seems like a very little, doesn't it? One peeled banana sliced. 30 seconds. Topped with vanilla ice cream. So I have a banana that's perfectly ripe. And yes, this is what our ripe banana looks like. And there was something leaning at it. That's why it's shiny. But when it gets speckled, that's the sugar developing. So it's don't throw these out, those are yummy. So I'll give you the choice between, I'll choose three and you tell me which of the three. Um, I think that I like the apple, baked apple dessert, chocolate souffle, or banana, baked banana dessert. So those are the three. And I'll do it on video so you can see step by step into the microwave, out of the microwave. But I thought at minimum I can use this for French onion soup because I didn't have one of those cracks. I'm pretty sure this is oven safe, but I'll have to see, I don't know. Stoneware, caution. La 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 la. Clean, warm, soapy water, and blah blah blah. I'm not sure whether it's regular oven safe. For all recipes, food, food should be cooked in the microwave oven on high power. Due to differences in microwave, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it doesn't say whether it's oven safe, but it's glazed um, stoneware. So how bad can it be? And if you notice, the ones that are... I didn't open the second one, so this is the box that I... This is the box that I opened of this one. But in the video, I'll unbox that one since I already have this one open. So, yeah, I'm going to take some pictures, um, drink the rest of my nighttime liter of water, and uh, I'll wait to see what you guys choose for which one to, which recipe to make for the stoneware. And uh, I think that's going to be it for me for tonight. Um, dishes all done, put away. I might even mop the floor before going to bed. See, this is what happens when I have nourished energy. 
um, oh, you know what? I might have to refill my oil, so yeah, maybe I'll do that before going to bed. So I'll drink my water, finish drinking my water, take some pictures, and call it a night. Thank you so much for keeping me company. I do appreciate it. And if you want to see any of the stuff that I picked up at Dollar Tree, and again, there'll be a link in the description, let me know. I have loved trying stuff out. The reason I got some of those things is because I wanted to try them out. And what better than trying them out on camera and sharing them with you. So, yeah, give me a shout out of what you'd like to see close up. And I will try to do my best to show you. So that's it for today. Again, thanks for stopping by. And I will see you all tomorrow. Don't forget about the thumbs. Remember, the question is, apple dessert, chocolate souffle, or the banana, baked banana. One of those three. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow.